Imagine a rainforest shrouded in mist, where rivers twist through mountains like silver ribbons. The air is thick with humidity, birds call in the distance, and the jungle feels untouched, ancient, alive. Then suddenly it appears, a massive wall of concrete rising from the earth, cutting through the greenery like a giant sculpture. This is the Bakken Dam. At 205 meters tall, it towers over the landscape, almost surreal in its scale. But Bakken isn't just a giant structure, it's a symbol. A symbol of ambition, of daring engineering, and of international collaboration. Here in the heart of Borneo, Malaysia, and China, joined forces to reshape the land, harness the power of rivers, and fuel the future. It's more than energy. It's a story of vision, trust, and the global race to build the world's next generation of infrastructure. But why did they choose this remote jungle? And what makes Baikun more than just concrete and turbines? That's where our story begins. Baikun Dam is awe-inspiring, but its true significance lies in the questions it raises. How did engineers and workers bring such a massive project to life in the middle of a dense, remote rainforest? What challenges did they face, and how did they overcome them? And beyond Malaysia, what does this dam mean for the future of sustainable energy and global infrastructure? In many ways, Bacon isn't just about electricity. It's a window into how technology, ambition, and international cooperation can reshape entire regions. As we dive deeper, we'll explore not only how the dam was built, but what it represents for Malaysia, for China, and for a world racing to meet its energy needs. In the early 2000s, Malaysia was booming. Cities like Kuala Lumpur were growing taller, factories hummed with activity, and millions of people were joining the modern economy. But all this growth came with a problem, energy. The country's power grid was struggling to keep up. Rolling blackouts weren't just inconvenient. They threatened businesses, schools, hospitals, and everyday life. Imagine trying to run a factory or even charge your phone when the lights keep going out. Malaysia faced a real risk. If energy demand continued to outpace supply, the country's economic growth could stall. Every new apartment, office, and factory added pressure to a system that was already stretched thin. Policymakers knew they needed a bold solution, something that could provide reliable electricity not just for a few years, but for decades. This urgency set the stage for one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in Southeast Asia, the Bacon Dam. It wasn't just about powering homes, it was about securing Malaysia's future and keeping the engines of its economy running smoothly. At the time, Malaysia had options, but none were perfect. Coal and natural gas were available and could generate electricity quickly, but they came with serious costs. Burning fossil fuels produces pollution and greenhouse gases, contributing to climate change and harming local communities. On top of that, the world was starting to watch closely. Countries were under growing pressure to reduce emissions and adopt cleaner energy. Relying too heavily on coal or gas could hurt Malaysia's reputation and long-term sustainability. The government faced a dilemma stick with familiar fuels and risk environmental damage, or pursue a cleaner, more ambitious path. That's where hydroelectric power entered the picture. Unlike coal or gas, hydropower uses the natural flow of rivers to generate energy. Clean, renewable, and capable of producing massive amounts of electricity. But building a dam of the scale needed to truly meet Malaysia's energy demands would be no small feat. It required bold vision, advanced engineering, and international cooperation, setting the stage for the story of Bakun Dam. The solution lay deep in the heart of Borneo, along the Baloi River. This river was untamed, powerful, and largely untouched, a perfect candidate for a mega hydropower project. Hydropower offered what fossil fuels could not massive, reliable electricity that didn't pollute the air or add to carbon emissions. But harnessing it was a monumental challenge. The jungle was dense, the terrain rugged, and the site far from any major city or port. Engineers weren't just building a dam, they were transforming an entire landscape, 
turning wild rivers into a controlled, renewable source of energy. The idea was audacious, to carve one of Asia's largest dams out of a remote rainforest. Every aspect of the project, from construction logistics to environmental protection, would demand innovation, precision, and persistence. Bakun wasn't just a power plant. It was a statement that Malaysia could meet its growing energy needs without sacrificing its environment, and that ambitious engineering could reshape the future of a nation. Recognizing the scale of the challenge, and honestly, the opportunity, Malaysia made Bakun Dam a top national priority in 2002. This wasn't just about keeping the lights on. The government saw the project as a way to transform East Malaysia, generate thousands of jobs, and create new economic opportunities in regions that had long been overlooked. By linking the dam to the national power grid, Bacon would help unify the country, connecting remote parts of Borneo to the more developed peninsula Malaysia. Beyond energy, the project had strategic significance. It was about securing Malaysia's future for decades, reducing reliance on imported fuels, and ensuring the country could grow sustainably. Leaders understood that this kind of infrastructure could spark development far beyond the dam itself. New roads, schools, and hospitals would follow, improving the quality of life for entire communities. By putting bacon at the top of its development agenda, Malaysia sent a clear message. The country was willing to take bold steps, invest heavily, and tackle one of the most ambitious engineering projects in Southeast Asia to secure its energy, economic, and social future. Building a dam the size of Bacon was honestly too big for any one country to handle alone. That's where China entered the picture. Malaysia partnered with China to form the Malaysia-China Hydro Power Joint Venture, or MCHPJV. This collaboration brought together Malaysia's local expertise and China's decades of experience in building massive dams. For Malaysia, it meant access to world-class engineering, advanced technology, and the capital needed to take on such an enormous project. For China, it was a chance to prove its capability on the global stage, demonstrating that it could deliver large-scale infrastructure far beyond its borders. But this partnership was more than contracts and blueprints. It tested human coordination, cultural understanding, and trust between two very different countries. Engineers, managers, and workers from Malaysia and China had to communicate, solve problems, and make critical decisions together in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. The Bacon Dam wasn't just a technical challenge. It was a story of people collaboration, and the merging of two nations' ambitions into a single, extraordinary vision. Bakken Dam is not just massive, it's honestly a marvel of engineering. Standing 205 meters tall, it's roughly two-thirds the height of the Eiffel Tower, but stretched across a powerful river deep in the jungle. The dam itself uses a special design called a concrete-faced rock-fill dam, combining the strength of stone with a watertight concrete surface to withstand enormous water pressure. Behind it, the reservoir holds 44 billion cubic meters of water, enough to cover Singapore three times over. At the heart of the powerhouse are eight turbines, each generating 300,000 kilowatts for a total of 2,400 megawatts enough electricity to power more than three million homes. To make this possible, engineers had to innovate constantly. High tensile steel reinforced critical zones, automated drilling rigs cut through the toughest terrain, and multi-layer grouting systems sealed the bedrock beneath the dam. Building Bakken was like creating a machine that could last for decades, carved into the earth itself. Every design decision combined science, creativity, and precision, turning a remote rainforest into one of Asia's most advanced energy facilities. Building Bakken Dam wasn't just about concrete and turbines. It was about conquering one of the toughest environments on Earth. The site sits on fragile shale rock, a slippery and unstable foundation that could shift under the dam's enormous weight. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper on a cracked eggshell. The terrain itself was a nightmare. Steep slopes, dense rainforest, and frequent landslides made transporting heavy machinery a constant struggle. Add to that the tropical climate, 
scorching heat, relentless humidity, and sudden monsoon storms that could flood construction sites overnight. On top of the physical challenges, the workforce was multicultural, safety codes differed, and the project had to respect indigenous land and environmental concerns. Success demanded innovation and coordination at every level. Engineers developed advanced grouting techniques to stabilize the ground faster, optimize supply chains to deliver materials into the jungle, and created systems for managing the workforce effectively. Overcoming these hurdles wasn't just a test of engineering. It was a testament to human creativity, adaptability, and persistence under extreme conditions. While the dam itself is a giant, the real story is the people who built it. Thousands of workers, engineers, and managers from Malaysia and China toiled in extreme conditions, long hours under the scorching sun, torrential rain, and the constant challenge of the jungle. Every day demanded focus, skill, and teamwork. Engineers had to coordinate complex machinery, monitor structural integrity, and solve unexpected problems on the fly. Local and international crews had to bridge language and cultural gaps, learning to work as one. Their determination turned a bold vision into reality. These were not just laborers. They were pioneers, crafting infrastructure in one of the most remote regions on Earth. The triumph of Bakun is as much about human endurance, collaboration, and ingenuity as it is about turbines and concrete. Without their grit, patience, and ingenuity, this ambitious project could never have succeeded. Bacon Dam's impact goes far beyond electricity. It reshaped the environment and the communities around it. The Bayloy River ecosystem is home to rare plants, animals, and indigenous communities who have lived there for generations. Building such a massive structure risked disrupting this delicate balance. That's why advanced environmental management systems were put in place. Sedimentation tanks trap harmful particles before they enter the river. Wastewater treatment plants clean runoff. And specialized pollutant disposal measures protect local biodiversity. At the same time, the project brought enormous social benefits. Thousands of jobs were created, from engineers to local laborers, while skills and knowledge were transferred to the workforce, giving people opportunities for the future. New infrastructure followed the dam, roads, schools, and healthcare facilities, improving living standards far beyond electricity alone. By generating clean hydroelectric power, Bacon reduces Malaysia's reliance on fossil fuels, lowers emissions, and creates a foundation for sustainable regional growth. The dam became a model showing that bold development and environmental responsibility can go hand in hand. Bakken Dam is more than a national achievement. It's a symbol on the global stage. For China, it proved that the country could deliver massive infrastructure projects outside its borders, demonstrating engineering expertise, reliability, and strategic vision. Under initiatives like the Belt and Road, Bakun became a showcase of what Chinese companies could achieve in partnership with other nations. For Malaysia, it wasn't just about power generation. It was a model of sustainable development, showing how a country could balance economic growth, environmental protection, and social progress. Globally, Bakun offers a blueprint for international collaboration. It shows that megaprojects don't have to be isolated efforts. They can be a shared mission, blending technology, trust, and ambition across borders. In a world racing to meet rising energy demands and combat climate change, Bakun stands as a testament. When nations work together, they can build not just infrastructure, but futures. Bakun Dam isn't just concrete, turbines, or megawatts. It's a story of vision, collaboration, and foresight. It shows what's possible when ambition, technology, and trust come together to tackle the impossible. From the dense jungles of Borneo to the boardrooms in Beijing, the project reminds us that progress doesn't happen in isolation. It is built brick by brick, bolt by bolt, by people committed to a shared purpose. As we reflect on Bacon, it raises bigger questions. What other mega-projects are pushing the limits of engineering and sustainability? 
How can nations collaborate to meet global energy needs while protecting communities and the environment? If you found this story as fascinating as we did, like the video, it helps others discover these incredible stories. Share your thoughts or experiences with massive infrastructure projects in the comments. We read every single one. And if you want more deep dives into the world's most ambitious projects, subscribe and turn on notifications. From deserts to oceans, from railways to wind farms, the future isn't just built, it's imagined and then made real.